What's up machine freaks? Happy Turkey Day. As you guys know, the United States is celebrating Thanksgiving today. So what that basically means is you sit at a table and stuff your mouth full of food and give thanks for what you're thankful for. Now I'm thankful for all of you guys. So I want to put that out there. Thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. Now tonight's Black Thursday, tomorrow's Black Friday. You know, you get out, shop, get your shop on, shoptacular, shopping spree, shop, shop, shop. Saying that, I would like to remind you guys that Brap Life sweatshirts are for sale. The link is in the description. It shows support. It's an easy gift. And if you don't want to buy it for somebody else, have somebody buy it for you. I need to support 3D Machines. He's phenomenal. I'd really appreciate it. And these things do come in handy when it's winter time. Like, it's cold outside. Now, yours will come a little cleaner and a little less stinky than mine. <laughs> I actually ordered a few more of them. I got a red one and I think another gray one. So I will be wearing the hell out of these things this winter. It's just an idea though. If you don't want to buy one, you don't have to. No problem. I just want to thank you guys for watching the channel. The comment section has never been so positive as it is now. So I got to thank you guys for that. Positivity is key. That's how you skip depression and all that junk. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. I'll see you tomorrow. But let's get into this 3D Machines production. What's up you guys, how's it crack lacking? I'm crack lacking, just swell. The BMW on the other hand, well she's a little flat. She's flat AF. Now this isn't a surprise. We did the burnout video. It worked for two days, then it rained and then the tire went flat. Haven't fixed it yet because the hood, the hood hasn't been on. But now the hood's finally on, so that's awesome. So now this thing's ready to rock and roll. That means I gotta fix that tire. You have no idea how much I would like to just throw some slime in that thing. But I think I should recheck it with some soapy water. Hopefully we can find a hole. I kind of want to patch it that way. Even though burnouts will probably rip the plug out anyways. Yep, we'll do it. And if we can't find the hole this time, then we're going to slime it. So there better be a hole. There better be a hole. You have no idea how happy I would be to see a hole. Especially after dumping like a gallon worth of soapy water on this thing. I got mail. I bought this bolt for the rear CV axle to the BMW, of course, but this bolt looks really big. Hopefully it works. Now, I don't know what's in this box, but we're gonna open it. Pull tab to open. That didn't work out so well. That didn't work at all. Sweet, sweet. I just kind of want to improve my GoPro audio when I'm in my car or in my truck. I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Hey! Another bag. Okay, now you got me twice as excited. Oh, I know what this is. Here, I'll let you guys see it first. It's a piece of cardboard. Awesome, isn't this amazing? Look at that. This allows you to get precise measurements. I bought a Harbor Freight special, thing was junk. The reason why the other one's junk that I bought from Harbor Freight is because it only does four significant figures. Take that back, three significant figures. So I think that's three significant figures. Basically, the numbers that I'm most worried about are the, are the ones that follow the decimal point. That one has two that follow the decimal point. This one has three figures after the decimal point. As you can see right here, it says .001. Now this is all stuff that I bought. I haven't gone to my post office box in a while. These are really cool. These are rollers for my dirt bike chain. I'm excited to install these. I got them at a killer price, so that's why I really like them. Okay, we got another pull tab one. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can execute this one properly. Pull tab to open. What is this thing? Well, I don't remember ordering this. How's that? Wait a minute, maybe I do remember ordering this. This is a camera, believe it or not. This is a camera. We'll explore more with this later. <coughs> we'll just put this all back together. We're one for two. Let's see if we can make it two for three. Two for, uh, not quite, but we'll count it. Two for three. It's supposed to rain all day today. Now I'm not a meteorologist. I don't watch the weather channel, but when I look at the sky and I look at my cell phone app and I see that it's supposed to rain all day, I'll listen to it. So the moments that it doesn't rain, we have to take advantage of it. There's no doubt about it. So I'm going to install the lights, take this tire off, try to find a hole because there's obviously a hole. I mean, the tire's flat. Plug it, see if the plug lasts by driving it around. If the plug doesn't last, then throw slime in it. 
hopefully slime or the plug solve the problem. Whichever, I don't care. It's not gonna cost me very much money at all. But what I do know is I don't wanna get to my girlfriend's apartment, stay the night, wake up in the morning and realize that my tire's flat. Because then I have no way, no way of pumping up the tire. I would have to drive to the place. It just wouldn't work. This is a drift car. I'm not gonna carry around a, a jack or a tire. Maybe I should, but currently I don't. I also have this bolt I have to install. And the nice thing is, is that bolt goes on this side. So once I take the tire off, I can put that bolt in. You gotta love when things just work. And thank God that happens to me all the time. It's awesome. You guys are currently in the garage. I wanna keep you guys dry. You're worth it to me. I got both headlights reinstalled and the rain's kinda chillaxed and I love it. I'm staying dry. I'm not melting. That looks tight. Really tight. <whistles> looks like a car. I love it. Why, why are you guys flying in my garage? I had two birds literally fly right over you guys, go to the back, and then fly back out. That was kind of cool. You guys are welcome anytime. I say that because they didn't anywhere. I say that because they didn't anywhere. Your time to shine, Jack. Do you guys remember the coolest tool ever? The best extension ever? Remember, how could you forget? I just hope the bolt's the right size. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Not the right size. I'll end up just using a hex head bolt. Waste of seven bucks. At least I got the tear off though. This time, this time, I'm not gonna put as much air in it. Last time I put, I think like 40 pounds in it and then I checked it. I'm gonna try just a little bit and see if that gives me a better better outcome. Because maybe before I had so much pressure in here, it was actually sealing the hole itself. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but all I know is I checked every square inch of this tire, rim, bead, valve, everything, and nothing came up. No air leaks. Now I made up some super soapy water, super soapy. I'm even gonna prep it by shaking it up. Like that's come, that's all bubbles. So we're gonna check the valve first. Gonna check the bead. Nothing, not a zip. Do the old flip around. I wanna see some air. Otherwise this is doing some Chris Angel shit. I hear it, I see it, I finally see it. Oh my goodness, I finally found it. There it is. Now I'm gonna look to see if there's any more. Because it, it might not just be one. Yeah, so I must have had too much air in it and it was sealing itself. This tire is clearly messing with me. I went around the entire thing, come back around, and now I can't find that. I can't find the leak. What a rascal. Come out, come out wherever you are. You have got to be kidding me. See, this is what it did last time. Okay, here's the plan. You know what, I'm gonna stay quiet. That tire is probably putting together a plan as we speak. So we're gonna, we're gonna get prepared. Once, once we find that hole, we're not gonna allow it to get out of my sight. Luckily, I already have the stuff I need. You'd be surprised I don't get as many holes as I do, doing all the crazy stuff I do. All right, you guys, let's go after it. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? This, this tire is possessed. This thing, ah. If I was a tire processing plant, I would destroy this thing right now. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see something right here. 
I can't plug something that I can't find. That's the biggest sucker out of it all. Well, let's let more air out and get more soapy water. Because this thing's already gone through soapy water. Who agrees with me that this tire is extremely ridiculous? Has anybody ever had a tire like this before where it leaks but you cannot find the hole? I've never had that happen. There's always been times when I can always find the hole. This is just a rare occasion. But this tire so far is kicking my butt. It's definitely thrilling though. We're locked and loaded, baby. Got it! I probably said that a hole through loud. My neighbors already think I'm crazy enough. I think I got it. There it is. Jake's actually got a hole in his truck tire before, and he pulled out and tried to push back in so fast that he created another hole. It was hilarious. Like that, but I didn't push harder. So you jam that tool in there. It's got a nice point to it, and that reams out the hole. Then you take this doohickey, and what you do is you take one of these strips, they're really sticky. Take one of these nasty looking things off. Put that slimy looking thing in here. Yes, I chewed it. This is why nobody can give me dental insurance. I use my teeth like tools. Pull that through halfway. And now we're gonna jam this in that hole. Hopefully, sometimes they don't go in. Wow, this one's going in. Which is really good. You go all the way in, and then you pull all the way out. I did forget to show you guys that I took the valve stem out of the tire. Not the valve stem, but the valve. I'm gonna screw it back in, put some air in the tire, and then see if we have a leak still. My air hose has a leak itself. No bubbles are coming out of it. So I believe we fixed it. But if this tire is gonna be as tricky ricky as it was before, then I'm just gonna put slime in it next time. So we'll pump this up to, I think, 42 PSI. We'll check the other ones and go off of that. Fill it up, put it on the car, and then do our next endeavor. Which I think would be windshield wipers because I want to drive this car tonight. And it'd be really nice to have windshield wipers while it's raining. Otherwise, stuff can get very dangerous very, very quickly. Music